This is a video to show you how you can assemble and convert a Mackworth Essential Shower Chair from a tenant assist to a self-propelled. Just some key things about the chair. First of all, it has an 130 kg or a 20 stone safe working load and is 8 inches wider standard. Its aluminium construction makes it very lightweight and easy to transport. Its powder coating makes it viable to go through your pressure control process. Okay, let's go about how we can assemble this chair. This is exactly how you will get it out of the box and you'll notice this is the tallest operation, so there's no investment there. Okay, the first thing we're going to notice is the frame. The top of the frame has this gap in here and the bottom of the frame has a solid bar there and this makes it the front. Now we're going to fit the casters. Right, as you may see, there is a hole in the front and a hole in the back. And there are two holes in there. They are fundamentally this position, the seat height, and, and alter the seat height. But the trick is, when you're putting this in, align the holes here with these holes here. And we do this four times. Now we're going to fit the back. The back is an assembly unit with the arms already attached and it's very, very easy to put in. So we come to the back of the chair and we use these locating holes here. And we do that now to secure the back, we use these bolts. and the back is now secure. I'm now going to show you how we fit the seat. You'll see the seat has these retaining clamps and which clips onto this frame. The trick is, is to ensure this back recess is back home here and then she will clip into place. The seat is now secure. This is the aperture, the teardrop design, and that fits in the top like that. That's seeing you tough. With all our products from the Essential Shower Chair range, this commode pan comes as standard, complete with lid. And if you turn the chair around, you will see these two grooves here. It's located. Now we fit the swing away for rest. The footrests, they are handed, 
there's a left hand and a right hand. And the way you know is when this falls down, that's where the patient's foot sits, so you know this is a right hand foot rest. Quite straightforward to install. Retainer here, onto the bar, slide in, and there's a turn around, it will click. Same again here, tin bar, slide round and click. If you want to swing out to the same bar or take it off, you have this lever here, straight forward, pull, turn around and lift. That is how you assemble the attendant propelled shower chair. Thank you. Now that we've built our attendant assist Macbeth essential shower chair, I'm now going to show you how you convert that to a self propelled shower chair by using a conversion kit. Here is the conversion kit box. I'm now going to take out what you expect to find if you need to convert one over. Okay, now that we've unpacked our conversion kit, the first thing we need to do is prep the chair so we can actually start making the modifications. Here's a top tip for you. Before you go any further, I recommend you take the teardrop out and the commode pan to make it easier of access. The next thing I would do is I want to make the chair stable. So what we're going to do is I'm going to tip it onto its front, bearing in mind that we have to do it in the correct way. Right, now that we've prepped our chair for, to start the conversion from a tendon citrus to our propelled, in your kit you'll get two of these wheel mountings and this is to put on the self-propelled wheels. You notice there's two holes in here and there's three holes on here and these are left and right. These three holes are basically to adjust the height if we need to adjust this height, the two settings. But in a standard setting, you always want the middle, middle pin to match the pivot point on here. And that's how we do it. It's pretty straightforward. So the first thing we do is we remove these plastic bungs and you keep them in a drawer somewhere and then I locate that on there and we fit a nut and bolt And very simply, with a simple socket and a basic Allen key, we tighten these up to suit. Okay. 
Now you do exactly the same on the opposite side of the chair. Now that we've fitted our mounting brackets, we're now going to fit the self-propelled wheels. For the ease of this demonstration, so you can see what I'm doing to make it easier, I'm actually going to take off these two back casters. That said, that's not essential because you can leave them on with the wheels if need to. Okay, so this is a, uh, a bearing fit but on a push system. The end of this bolt here, you push that in and these bearings drop in and allow it to pass through the wheel. The grab handle goes on the outside. So the first thing we do, we push that up, push the pin in and it will slide through. We come to here, push the pin in and it will slide through. The wheel is now secure. We do exactly the same for the other side. To protect the threaded bar and the nut, you'll find there's two covers and they clip on like so. The wheels are now fit and secure. We'll put the chair back onto its front. The last stage of this conversion is we have to fit the brakes to make it safe for the end user. And by doing so, you get two of these brakes inside your pack. What we're going to do now is how we do that. So the first thing we need to do is temporarily move the seat base. And put it to one side. This is the brake. Okay, so essentially we're going to fit this brake onto this bit of tubing here. If you look on the side of this wheel, on the shower chair here, you can see there's a red line. Also, on my braking system, there is a red line. And what I'm trying to achieve is, is to line these two up. And when I'm fitting this, I'm trying to keep everything perpendicular and square. So I want everything to be horizontal and vertical. So the first thing we do is we offer this up. Once I've got it somewhere in there, I'll just give it a little nip. There we go. There we go. And once I've got it semi secure. I've got a little bit of play exactly where I want to place this to make sure it's nice and true and square. So I eye it through and I'll tighten up. Okay, they're in line, they're in line. And now what I'm going to do is just before I go, I'm going to make sure this break. Perfect. It's exactly what I want it to do. I now do exactly the same on the other side, 
and then we're going to put back the seat. So it's off. Wonderful. That is your conversion done.